Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you different ways on how to not get nervous for your CDL road test. Now, here at Driving Academy, we now have the ability to actually provide testing services for anybody looking to get a CDL license, which means you no longer have to go to DMV. We can actually provide the CDL road test for you. My, uh, me, myself, I am an examiner certified by the state of Pennsylvania. So I have been giving tests for the past couple of weeks and I want to kind of give some tips and tricks on what I've seen and how to kind of avoid that. One of the biggest things is people being nervous. Now being nervous is natural during your test. So if you are nervous, it's okay, you're normal. But it's also a huge factor. I mean, I talk to my instructors uh, the day before our students take their test and we kind of, at the end of every day we kind of have a, a talk, how's everybody doing? Kind of like a progress report. And then I hear great things from students on day number one, when he, at the end of their training, they're doing fantastic, they're on the road, no issues. But come test day, I'm the one who's gonna be testing them and they're a completely different person and the only thing that changed is that they're nervous. So their skill level went down and everything else got a lot harder for them just simply because they're nervous. So if you want to avoid being nervous or maybe nervousness is okay, but you wanna kinda of control it, you have to understand where nervousness comes from. So the way I want you to think about it is, and I learned this from Tony Robbins himself, it's called the triad. So changing your triad, and I'll explain what that means. Triad is for a triangle and you have three points. Uh, so the way I want you to think about nervousness is nervousness is the result of how you use your triad. So the triad is gonna be three different things. One is gonna be your physical body, how you move and how you use your body. Two, what you use and what you focus on in your mind. And three, what, you, what kind of words you use speaking out loud or speaking in your mind itself. So the way I want you to kind of think about it is those three things, which is your body, your mind, and your words, all those, if you put the right combination together, is going to create nervousness. So if nervousness is, for instance, a chocolate cake, that means that the ingredients that you go into it is how you use your body, how you use your mind or what you focus on and what words you use constantly is what is going to get you that chocolate cake or nervousness in this case. That means if you want to create a different type of cake, all you got to do is change one of the ingredients. If you want a completely different type of meal, change two or more of the ingredients and you have something completely different. So knowing that, it sounds kind of crazy, but try it out next time you're nervous. So if you know that being nervous only equals which, how you use your body, how you use your mind, and what you use on your words, just change one of those and the nervousness will go down or go away for the period of time that you are changing, right? So for instance, easiest thing to do is change your body. So you can do something crazy. You can jump around, do some jumping jacks. As soon as you're changing your body and doing jumping jacks, it's almost impossible to be nervous at the same exact time. Now, of course you can't be jumping jacks throughout the whole test, but that's going to kind of get you jump started to say, hey, okay, I have control of this. This thing doesn't have control of me. The next thing you can do is change your words. So that's something that you can physically do. So instead of saying, oh my God, my test, maybe think about something that you enjoy, right? Stop focusing on the test so much. You're, during test day, there's very little that we can teach you the day of the test. So you either know it or you don't. So start using different type of words than what you're doing. So whatever words are going on in your mind, just change it up and start speaking out loud, speak to yourself. You're gonna look a little crazy, but at least the nerves are gonna go down. And then once you change your body, change your words, now the hardest one is gonna be to change what you focus on. Now this test, of course, is gonna be on the top of your mind. I was talking to a student, she said that she couldn't sleep for three days just because of the test. So if you just start off with the mind, it's gonna be very, very difficult to change what you're focusing on. But if you start off with the body doing something crazy, maybe push-ups, maybe running, maybe jumping, start talking to yourself in positive attitude and making, uh, tell yourself a story. And then once you do those two things, then the mind gets a lot easier to change. Now, if you do that long enough, you are now in control of your body. So you get to decide which feelings that you have. So if you want to be nervous and you feel like you're better when you're nervous, then you can be nervous. If you feel like you're sweating like a pig when you're nervous and it's 70 degrees outside or 60 degrees outside and you're still sweating, it's probably not the best emotion for you at that time, especially if you're taking a test. Because if that's what reaction is happening in your body, imagine 
what kind of answers and how good of a driver you're going to become. So the three simple takeaways is change the way you use your body, change the words that you use in your mind and speaking out loud, and lastly, change what you focus on. It sounds crazy, but if you try it out, it's definitely going to work. Now, I've had, I, there's many stories of students who were ready to rock and roll and the nervousness is the only reason why they did fail. I mean, this past week alone, any of the students that did fail, it was usually because they were nervous, which means there was no lack of skill. They just made a silly mistake because they weren't fully there because their mind was occupied with something else. So if you control this, then that means, yes, you're much easier. So if you control this emotion itself, that means that, yes, you are going to have an easier time to pass a road test because you've been trained correctly if you came to our school. However, if you control this, think how much easier your life's going to be in general. Because if you really think about this for nervousness, this happens with any other emotion that you're feeling. So if you like the emotion that you're having, understand what you're doing with your mind, what you're doing with your body, what you're doing with the words. And if you do that over and over again, you're going to get that emotion as a result. If you don't like the emotion or what's happening in your mind, then you can change one of those three and now you can change your life forever. So here at Driving Academy, we, we, so here at Driving Academy, our main mission is to help a million people get on the road to freedom. And we know that we can help you out, get the skills that you need and get you to pass a road test so you can get a job making more money. But more money is only gonna work if this thing works up here, right? So we are also going to make sure that we are here to help you out any which way that we can by giving you different advice just like this so you can keep bringing your, your level to the next level every single time. If you're a person like me who always looking to grow, always looking to get to the next level, no matter how bad things are now, you must understand that there's always a level that is higher. We have many different students from many walks of life and we are determined to help them get their CDL license and this video is just one way that we could do that by helping you control your emotions and helping you control your nervousness. So it sounded crazy, but change your body, change your mind, and change your words, and your whole life can be changed forever. So if you have any questions whatsoever, give us a call, 908-525-3609. If you want to schedule yourself a CDL road test with our training facility, with our testing facility, give us a call, 908-525-3609. Or maybe you want to get yourself a CDL license for the first time. What I want you to do is this, take a virtual school tour, cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour, and we'll be able to help you out and walk you through the entire process, all virtually from the comfort of your home. So I hope to see you soon. If you have any questions, you already know who to call. And our mission is to help a million people get on the road to freedom. We can only do that if we help you out as well. So I hope to talk to you soon in person one day. Have a good day.